TikTok, the app that everyone has heard of and everyone's friends are using. There is quite a lot of information on this iceberg, so I'll keep it to the meat of this issue. TikTok, we may be banning TikTok. TikTok has done an amazing job of breaking down the barrier of entry for- ByteDance, one of China's startup companies, launched the app TikTok in September 2016. At its inception, the app seemed to be just another social media for people to melt into, dancing, getting famous, and watching endless entertainment. Now TikTok is a major security threat, censors political content, bans disabled users, a habitat for pedophilia, and dangerous challenges. All right, let's go back a bit. Looking at government influence on TikTok, you might ask, well, no, the Chinese government doesn't control TikTok, ByteDance does. You'd be right, but... No, 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 no! No! The company was littered with government officials, and now the Chinese regime now has one of three seats on the board, holding influence past their small 1% equity stake. To put this in other words, the same government suppressing human rights, banning free speech, having national athletes and billionaires go missing for months and is in a constant power struggle with the world has influence and information to the app and its users that millions of people have all over the globe. The allure of going viral was so real with TikTok, anyone could make content and anyone could go viral. With the use of its latest AI technology, TikTok was able to create the most addictive user interface imaginable. This sensation of going viral has caused many individuals to do harmful challenges and most infamously, diabolical licks, or in normal terms, crimes. On top of this, TikTok has used its control over the app to censor subjects such as Ziggy Tyler, 23, a black TikTok creator, noticed that whenever he would add the terms Black Lives Matter and Black Success to his bio, the edits would immediately disappear. News and updates from the Hong Kong protests. The Washington Post reported on the censorship and ByteDance had this as their response. The company defended TikTok as a place for entertainment, not politics, and said its audience gravitates there for positive and joyful content as a possible explanation for why so few videos to sensitive topics such as the protests in Hong Kong appear. Banning users who were seen as disabled, poor, and ugly. TikTok's moderators were instructed to exclude videos from the For You feed if they failed on any of a number of categories. The documents show users with an abnormal body shape who are chubby, obese, or too thin, or have an ugly facial looks or facial deformities should be removed. One document says, since, in quotes, if the character's appearance is not good, the video will be much less attractive, not worthy to be recommended to new users. This is not everything and it is already overwhelming. So why is there so much traction on this app? Well, TikTok might get slowed down soon. India has reported banning the app. When Trump was in office, he decided to pressure the company and more and more people are becoming aware of what TikTok is doing to the world. TikTok has lost its Indian user base, censors content, and is a platform hurting millions of people. An issue at hand for them that they did respond to was the worry of the incentive for short attention spans. In response, TikTok has created the ability to make three minute videos. But other than that, it seems like the social media app is going to continue doing as they please and creating the facade of being socially responsible. Keep in mind, TikTok is very young and unexpectedly blew up in popularity. So who knows what will happen? The only thing that will help push TikTok to change is by simply deleting that profile and app. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. The topic of this video was either this or the vaping pandemic and Puff Bar evading FDA regulations. This was my first video essay over a business and I found it very interesting and really fun.